all right last video we have seen the base page and written the methods for click and enter as i said earlier the base page is a class where it will be serving every need of a tester in terms of all the methods okay we have just written the two methods right and the base page is a continuous process means there will be a plenty of methods that may be needed uh, while the project is going on so like checking the checking the uh, radio button and selecting the drop down value there may be so many methods like switching to the different frames switching to the windows all the logics you have to retain inside of this so that the user can directly make the use of it in the subclasses okay i hope it is clear uh, before wrapping up the concept of base page we still left with one more thing which is called as get by role because playwright offers different way of handling the things so you cannot use for example i want to click on this particular object okay but i have used get by role okay so this click will not work because inside of this we are using the get locator concept so what should we do here there are two things either you can use the same click with the additional parameter and twist and tweak it or else you can have a separate method itself it will be your wish okay for example you want to add something like this okay click by role you can have it but i would suggest this will be a duplicate work because there will be a plenty of method you cannot have the same thing again for each and every method with the role concept right click by role enter by role and all okay but still the choice will be given it should, uh, uh, there is no hard rule okay i will show you instead of writing this directly okay so what i will do i will simply pass a optional parameter okay see here we have to click here right okay so here this dot click okay this dot click which one i am i need to see this one continue button right this i will pass this no issues here okay i need to pass one additional optional parameter Okay, by default it should be by default it should be false okay for example see here flag or roll flag okay roll flag roll flag let's say boolean roll flag equal to you can say false right it is of type boolean that should be fine okay so now if okay if not roll flag that means if it is true we will be doing this else that means it's a roll flag right it's a roll flag okay so how can we do this so now what we have to do we have to define a variable see here right i'm just copy pasting this okay copy go to your click and paste it over here so now this is going to be object right this is going to be object okay on the object you are applying continue button it's not a continue button remember that okay anyway one second okay this is already we are sending right so we don't need to worry about okay so here i will say true okay true go inside of this okay object of locator okay same thing what we have done here or else you can use get locator rather than saying every time um, what you can say object that locator everywhere you can say you can create one more method get locator by role either way is fine okay so now our object is ready next what is the step we have this part is ready right this part is ready now i have to copy this and then paste it over here okay on which element i have to perform object dot right object dot locator actions options right this object is holding that all information right okay definitely it will be there and for click also there will be things yes okay so now i will pass action options if it is supported it is supporting just copy paste this that's it simple everything is ready everything is same no change but the only thing we have done is we have passed a additional role for everything it is going to be false as it is an optional parameter right 
So observe these two things. I'm deleting this as we are done. Just delete this. Observe here, click. And I'm saying true. That means this is this object. If you keep the cursor over here, this object is of type by role. Okay. So click over here. And if not flag, it is going to be the regular click. If it is a, now what you can say, if it is a role, it will define like this and then get by role element that click. Instead of saying my element, simply say element. Okay. Element dot click. Okay. Try running it and let's see if we find any issues. Based on that, we can fix it. And I would say rather than saying, because same thing we have to repeat for enter, check and select, right? Okay. So better we do one thing, get locator. Okay. Get locator by role. Okay. This makes sense. Okay. So object it will take okay so now this part okay i'm going to take it this off control c or let control c time being come out, come down paste it okay object dot locator or you can say object of locator either way is fine okay or else you can do like this object of locatorize element okay what else is there should we need to perform anything? Okay, here what do we have to say? Await this dot get locator by role. Okay, I am passing object. I am passing the object. This is also clear, right? So do we need return return element return element? There is no await keyword required as of now, right? Okay, how about this one? Let's try this one also, right? So why should we uh, make it pending? So just come down, come down. No need to return like this. So return this one, return this one, return this dot, page dot, get by role element, actions of options. Sorry, my bad. It should be this one, right? The second part is this one. Done. Okay. So now I think we are good. Get by roll. Get by roll. Remove everything. That click and your additional options and your additional options copy paste that's it within single line we are able to wrap up the things we did nothing simply we just created a additional parameter by default it is going to be false because we don't want to get it done by get by role okay and we created a small method get by role so that the user will pass that particular object based on that it will decide in future if in playwright if, if they make any changes definitely you have to come over here and you have to change it or else you can you can define this one you can define this one at a class level right at a class level or else you can say at let options by role options you can define like this uh i think it is not possible no let's keep it as this in future we'll try to remove this one from there in the method okay for time being let it be I think we are good. It's time for us to run the script. Just revise your things. Okay, we had a get by role here and we are passing it as a true. We are good. Continue button. Continue button is having locator, description and action options. Okay, I'm good with it. And now it will be true. That means it will go to the else block and then object. This object will be element get by roll of this one i think we are good try running it and see hopefully everything goes well cd cucumber and npm test fingers crossed let's see
okay browser launched my accounts login information continue oh, it has some failures i think we need to look at okay let's see what is the issue remember one thing you will be learning more with the mistakes than the if you are going by the happy path okay so now let's see what is the option here okay stick to violation resolved in 48 elements okay same thing stick mode violation get rolled by link resolved in 48 elements okay object locator options okay we are not passing are we passing any options go to login page it is we are passing the locator if you want to see the information just put the control and you know keep your cursor over there you can see the value so locator is link and op action options is name equal to continue I think it's a wrong one, right? Name equal to continue. This is not action options, I'm sure. So go to your locator here. Is it action options? Continue. Continue button, link, description. Okay, go to your click and keep the cursor over here. Okay, this is left, right, middle, and get by role, go inside, get by role. It's going to be locator options, right? It's going to be locator options. I'll try running it and see. Okay, let's try the luck for now. My accounts, login, continue. Okay, success. Okay, we made a mistake. We we are supposed to pass the, which one? Look at our options, but we are passing the action actions, right? Action actions. I think this name is uh, not a good, I cannot even pronounce it. Let's make, a, let's make a change of it. Or you can give some good name. Okay, action options. Substance, some things weird things will come out that's fine i think we are good right okay so it's time for us to wrap up the base page i will repeat once again so every page is going to extend our base page uh, base page is a powerful um, you know uh, lib we can say where you need to write every method right so that your uh, script development will become fast it's not mandated that you should write everything in day one Right? It's a continuous process. Write some methods and continue with it. As per whenever the user demands, you just keep on adding it. Maybe switching to the element, I mean, uh, switching to the window, switching, uh, selecting the frame, uh, selecting the drop down, validating it, getting the drop down options, everything. Make sure that this page, base page serves every need of your project. Okay. So we just had only four methods that is not sufficient enough, right? In the real time project, you need to have so many methods. Okay. I, this is just a beginning and basic framework series. So I think it's time for us to wrap up over the base page in the next series. In the next uh, videos, we will be seeing how we can have the multiple browsers. We are having only the single browser now. Now it's time for us to add multiple browsers so that we can do cross browsers testing and parallel testing. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.